Hey, what's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to test out some PS3 emulation on the all new Intel Hades Canyon NUC. If you're not familiar with the Hades Canyon Nook, I just did a video on it. I'll leave a link in the description. I have a lot more coming, but this is a powerful little mini gaming PC. It's the first partnership between AMD and Intel. They have the GPU on the same chip as the CPU, and it actually is almost as powerful as a GTX 1060 full-size GPU from NVIDIA. Really awesome stuff here, and I believe this is the future. This mini PC is powered by a quad-core i7-8809G CPU. It's at 3.1 GHz. It does turbo up to 4.2. The GPU is the Radeon RX Vega MGH. Now, this is the first time that Intel and AMD have ever done something like this. I think this is freaking awesome. That's why I had to get my hands on one of these things. It also has the built-in Intel HD 630 GPU, but I'm not going to be using that. I did pair this with 20 gigabytes of DDR4 2400 megahertz RAM. I had one stick of four gigabyte and another stick of 16, which makes 20, and it actually works pretty well. We're gonna be testing out the PS3 emulator called RPCS3. This is a legitimate PlayStation 3 emulator for Windows or Linux, and it works really well as long as you have a decent CPU and a decent GPU. The first game I'm gonna test is Demon Souls. My CPU usage, GPU usage, all that good stuff will be over on the right hand of the screen. If you want to check out the FPS this is running, it's in the top left hand corner of the PS3 window here. This PS3 emulator is fairly new and the developers have done an amazing job getting this thing up and running in such a short period of time. They are constantly updating. I got an update yesterday and today. Unfortunately, the update that I'm running right now crashes Demon Souls on this computer and my main gaming rig. I can play through it a little bit, but when I get to a certain part, the game just freezes up. Now the last update they put out didn't give me this issue on either of my computers, but I didn't want to downgrade and I really wanted to show you how this thing does perform. The other two games I'm gonna test work perfectly with this newer update. I'm just gonna fast forward till we get into some gameplay here. Now remember, this game was supposed to run at 30 FPS on the PS3, and we're hitting that 30 FPS mark here on the Hades Canyon. It's in the top left hand corner of the PS3 game window. It seems like all of these new emulators that are releasing lately require shader cache to be compiled. Now if you take a look in the lower left hand corner of the screen, every once in a while you'll notice it will be compiling shaders. Now that's going to slow you down. First time you run through a level on a game, it's going to cache all of those shaders. Then it will need to compile them next time you load it up, and you won't have any stuttering. It'll be buttery smooth. Now, you still need a decent CPU and GPU for this to work. And as you can see, the Hades Canyon Nook is handling this emulator perfectly. Now there are some games that are not ready to be used with this emulator yet. So no matter what the speed of your CPU or how much you spend on it, it just won't work and I just hit the freeze point. Now, I got a little further than this earlier today, but it froze up again later on down the road. It also did this on my main gaming PC that has an NVIDIA 1070, so it's not this unit doing it. It's something with this newer update. I've never experienced this before. We're gonna move over to another game, Persona 5. I gotta say, again, this thing handles this game really well. I'm gonna go full screen with it. Well, full screen windowed for you so you can see a little more of the game. You'll still be able to see the FPS in the top left hand corner. So there is a hack floating around for this emulator in this game to make it run at 60 FPS as long as your system can handle it. This originally ran at 30. We're not quite there in this wide open area, but when we get a little further into the game, we get a really smooth 30 FPS. Stop right there. 
At the very beginning of the game, there's a lot going on underneath us, so we didn't quite hit that 30 FPS mark, but when we're in battles like this and closed off situations, we do hit 30 FPS with the Hades Canyon. I'm sure there's more optimizations that the devs need to do from RPCS3. I truly believe that within a month or two, the devs at RPCS3 will have things a lot more optimized for these playable games, and it's going to run really smooth on the Hades Canyon nut. Like I mentioned, in these closed off areas, we get really good performance with this game. We're going to move on to a harder game to emulate with the PS3 emulator, and that is Tekken 6. I was super surprised to see it running at 60 FPS on this Hades Canyon Nook. Now the temps aren't bad either, I went into the BIOS and set it on cool. The fans aren't very loud at all, I mean they're no louder than an Xbox or an Xbox One. Now you can always go out and buy a PS3, buy this game and play it all day, but this is kind of a test. I just wanted to see how powerful this little nuck was for emulating the PS3. It does take a pretty powerful PC to do this. So overall, I'm really impressed with this Intel AMD combination that they came up with. These things are not cheap. They're $899 on Amazon right now for the model I have. They also offer a $750 model. For the past week, I've been using this solely for my gaming slash work PC, and I'm really enjoying it. I haven't had any troubles with it. It fits right on my mantle downstairs. I use a Bluetooth Xbox One controller. And it handles most games 60 FPS high to ultra settings depending on the game. It really does an amazing job for its size, but it is expensive. So if you're not into spending that much on something this small, I completely understand. It's kind of a niche item. Some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any requests, if you want to see anything running on this unit, let me know in the comments below and I'll have a video up very shortly. If you're interested in picking one of these up, I'm going to leave eBay and Amazon links in the description below. They are affiliate links, so if you do buy something through that link, it does help the channel out at no extra charge to you, and I really appreciate it. Like always, thanks for watching.